I can't go on. What happened to you? Terrible things, sir. Terrible things. God must be punishing me, but I truly don't know what I've done to deserve it. Those devils killed my man and then had their way with me. I gave birth in the woods, like an animal. So I beg here at the roadside. Nothing else is left to me. Be merciful, good sir. Could you spare a little change, sir, so I can buy a blanket at least? Of course. Here you are. May God reward you for your kindness. moat. It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. bridge. That'll make it easier to cross the earthworks. There's open ground on both sides of it, but it's the fastest route for an attack. Fucking weather. Fucking tents. Fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. I just want to eat and sleep. And fuck. Bye. 
We could get all the way to the camp unobserved this way. Our attack would catch them by surprise, but then we'd run straight into the middle of the Cumans. We could launch a sneak attack from here. Hey! Hey! What a shitty day. I need a good strap to cheer me up. Fos időjárás, fos sátrak, fos tábor. Szart se ér az egész. Look at that. Yes. Enjoy your meal. Who does not kill? Picsába már majdnem kiózanodtam. Olyan éhes vagyok, hogy felfallám a csiklámot.
old. It's my own recipe. Hé, hey, te! Várj csak egy kicsit! Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit már mész kocit? Na jó, vagy hogy zavarkodtam. Megyek a dolgomra. Do nothing wrong. Let me go. I am Chiatam Shemit. Engedjetek el. Ez hazugság. Az egész az ő hibája volt. I heard you had some trouble with our Cuman brothers. Ki provokálta a harcot, amikor a cimboráival leszúrtak két embert? He started fight. His friend killed two men. This is even dog said. Don't listen to what they are. For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp. And we treat guests as our own. Mi itt vendégek vagyunk, ezért tisztelettel kell, hogy bánjanak velünk. Igen, ennek így kell lennie. How do you want to punish him? Milyen büntetést tartogat számára? Engedd szabadon, a többiek emlékezni fognak rá. Let him go, others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do, and you call yourself a leader. <clears throat> no more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp, one army. So fucking remember that. <laughs> what a stinking shithole. I wouldn't want to live here. so hungry I could eat my boots. Who are you? Stop gaping at me and fuck off! What? What? 
Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? I gotta piss. The secret is in the spices. Fucking weather, fucking tent, fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Over here! We let everyone go! Come here, you little me. Off. Watch out! Hey, all of you, scatter here! Well, you, you won't be shooting these arrows. I'll get it. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time! The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. I'd like to see you try shooting these, man.
Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you.
God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Sir Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge in the arches, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Forward march! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible, and hold your position there! Some of you take the left flank. We'll attack in two places at once. Arrows! Shields overhead!
The way's clear. Up and at them. Remember me? I remember you, though. Now where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last evening, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy.
I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? <laughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Rate, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. Jesus, people these days. Walking around town with a weapon. Put that weapon away before someone gets hurt. 